Hey everybody, welcome back to Mario 64, and last time we beat the first Bowser fight, so we're gonna head to the basement. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. Hi, I'm Faye. I'm here. Oh my, so do you like ghosts, Faye? I love ghosts. I ain't afraid of none of them. Well, that's good, because we're gonna go fight... We're gonna go, uh... Investigate of some paranormal activity in the castle here. Excellent. I love spooky things. I like how you go into that as well. It's just like you just end up in like a tiny cage or something. It's, it's cool. It's 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 actually I think one of the most one of the more unique entrances in the game. I think the only one even remotely similar is like when you just. There's a couple that you just jump into an unmarked wall, but that's about it. Yeah, no, that's like a really cool effect, especially for, you know, how old this game is. And considering it was on the N64 as well. Yeah, so uh, this first star is very, very straightforward. You just kind of go to the top of this walkway, and it's just up here. You don't even really have to do anything for it. I was so concerned during that jump, because it looks like you can't do it. It's... it's trickier than it looks, but as long as you do a double jump, you're fine. Also, I love that gumball spider. There's a lot of gumball spiders here. I love them. I want one as a pet. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm having trouble with the cage. Yeah, every time you leave the level, you have to kill him again. And it's... it can be a little tricky. Yeah, it, it looks like it's kind of hard to judge where the ghost is. <laughs> I mean, it would be less hard if Project 64 accurately rendered shadows, but, you know, let's not ask for too much here. Yeah, you gotta work with what you have. Trust me, I we, we, we're both incredibly aware of how broken Project 64 can get. Oh no! Violence in the media. Yeah, these are some rude-ass books. But, um, but yeah. That was a puzzle. I'd hardly call it a puzzle. No, that was totally a puzzle. I don't know what you're talking about. Definitely worth a star. Yeah, definitely. It takes like three seconds of your time. It probably took longer to, you know, get the ghost than the star. <laughs> I do like this little garden area. I was say, I would like it a lot more if it wasn't covered in ghosts. Well, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Sometimes, you know, sometimes your garden is just full of ghosts and you can't do anything about it. It's disgusting sometimes. Where do they even come from? Dead flowers? Yeah, sure, let's go with that. <laughs> oh, hi, eyeball. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take a break from the usual method, and we're actually gonna get the red coins in this level because they're all pretty much grouped together. You see, they're all right inside the mansion, so we might as well. Oh uh, yeah, most of them appear to be on top of bookshelves at the moment. Oh goodness. Yeah, you gotta watch out for the piano. He'll, uh, he'll fuck you up. Yeah, that's, uh... An interesting piano, for sure. And now we're in Silent Hill. <laughs> you know, bloody grates everywhere. But, I mean, this, uh... Th this mansion has it all, really. It does! I can't imagine why Luigi didn't want this. Who knows, Luigi's a very strange fellow. Run from the books, Artix. Um, actual, uh, please don't trigger me, Fafay. Um, I'm actually illiterate. Oh, okay, I, I apologize, friend. I was inconsiderate. Th that's why I have to kill them all, because otherwise they scare me. That's fair. So that's all three for this area, isn't it? 
That's all that I'm gonna get here. There's still a couple more stars to get there, but they're mostly... Like, beat the big boo! Again! But this time, at the top of the mansion. So... So we're just gonna let them go. That's the big boss key from Zelda. No, no it isn't. It looks very similar. I, okay, I guess I'll give you that much. Like, I'm re just remembering from Ocarina of Time. So, uh, this is Myths. Oh dear. And, uh, if, if you catch Myths, you get a star. I can see from the sped up footage that you had some problems. Oh dear. Yeah! Now, buddy, I don't think you're in a position to be saying anything about Finder's Keepers when I've got you literally by the neck. That's also a very unsafe way to hold an animal. Yeah, well, Mario's a piece of shit anyway, so... He is. Time to go to hell. Oh, come on. You say you're not you say you're not excited for a little trip to hell? I I love going to hell. It's my favorite place. So uh this is Lee the Lava Land. It is thankfully, I believe, the only part of the game that actually like seriously uses lava as a level hazard, which is good because I really don't like how this game handles lava. Yeah, this looks infuriating. I mean, don't get me wrong, you can do a lot of stupid shit, like sequence break, by bouncing on the lava, but it's a pain in the ass to deal with. Yeah, I... I can imagine. And if you do it wrong, maybe a little bit, you'll probably die. Yeah, you only get two bounces before you have to get back to dry land, because otherwise... Because you only have 8 health and it does 3 damage a pop. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, but uh, now that we skipped the uh... You can say we kind of skipped sequence a little bit by grabbing those red coins, but they were literally right on the way, so there was no reason not to. Yeah. The eyeball is freaking me out. <laughs> There is actually one of the stars in Big Boo's Haunt is... There is a, a, a room that's just kind of tucked away to the side, and it has a giant one of those. Oh boy! Devil Bob. bomb Yeah, so that's a bully. You just push them, and they fall in the lava, and you get a star for it. Rewarding violence. Sends a bad message to young Marios. Now... Unfortunately, every so often you run into this glitch, and the game just kind of hangs here for a second, and you're stuck in the level, even though you've already gotten the star. Now, the good news is that you can get out of it. The, the easiest way is to just go find another star, if you can. And in this case, that's what I'm going to try to do, because we are stuck in our last state, which in this case was Metal Mario. So I can so I can kind of just work my way over to where I know another star is. But if we weren't that lucky, you, would, you could either kill yourself or try to find a state transition, like we could hop in the volcano. That's how I solve my problems. Yeah, and uh, the camera really doesn't help. So you gotta, it, you really gotta know where you're going when you try to do something like this. Yeah. So I'm assuming that, you know, skipping across the lava like a stone is kind of like the quickest way to get to where you were going? Uh, pretty much, considering that there's a wing cap behind me, but, like, behind where we start there, but it's much easier to do it that way. Yeah, I mean, it does, it does seem a little faster, kind of like rolling in Zelda. Yeah, I mean, you can see, this is the star I was trying to get to. You can see they want me to, you know, roll that big log over there, and that's not fucking happening. No, no. No, it's much easier to just wall jump over the, uh, cage there. Yeah, yeah. It's a good little trick. <laughs> 